Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. When you listen to your favorite radio station or watch TV show, you tune into a fixed channel. This is a typical traditional narrow band radio and TV communications. This type of fixed frequency communications has three problems: interference, jamming, and interception. In wireless communications, interference and jamming would slow down transmission, and interception would become a huge security problem. Take a look at this example. Suppose we use the whole 2.4 gigahertz band to send and receive data, and we can say this data could be easily intercepted and hacked. Because they travel through one channels constantly. In order to address these issues, several signal modulation methods are used. One of which is frequency hopping spread spectrum, or FHSS. FHSS was introduced in A02.11 base version. It uses spread spectrum techniques by which a signal generated within a particular bandwidth is deliberately spread within the frequency band, and thus to reduce interference and jamming, and most importantly to prevent detection and interception. Now let's look at how it works. First, let's divide the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band into 79 narrow frequency channels, and each channel is one megahertz wide. Starting from the bottom, we label each channel with F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, and so on. Let's skip the rest. We will use these six narrow channels to demonstrate how FHSS works. Second, we also divide data travel time into smaller time units or segments, and we label them with T1, T2, T3, four, five, six, seven, and so on. We skip the rest. Each tiny segment is called. Hop time or hop time. Now let's take a look at just one data packet, which is moving from a sender to a receiver. During a certain time period, we will see the data packet will not travel through one fixed channel. Instead, it will hop up and down to a multiple different channels. It's much like a monkey jumping from a tree branch to another in a jungle. For example, during the T1 segment, the data packet travels through the F2 channel, and then at the T2 segment, it leaps to F5 channel and travels through the channel during the whole T2 segment, and then. Jumps down to the F3 channel and then leaps up to F6 channel. During T5 segment, it jumps down to F1 channel and then hops up back to F6 channel, and then jumps down to F4 channel. Well, enough jumping and hopping. Now let's freeze the time. At F4 channel, so that we can see the hopping pattern so far. From T1 through T7, the hopping pattern is F2, F5, F3, F6, F1, F6 again, and then F4. From the demonstration, we could see why this type of transmission method is called frequency hopping spread spectrum. 
FHSS sends data on one frequency at a time and it uses different frequencies over the time. Hopping pattern is known only to receiver and sender and different senders use different hopping pattern at a different time. This type of modulation method was not only used in IEEE AO2.11 base version but also used by military, cordless phone, GPS, and some other wireless communications. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.